There's always a man. There's always a city. There's always a lighthouse. Now would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a... Let's go out to play, Daddy. <laughs> go back to the Sodom from which you came! Time to finish this. Catch. That'll do. Elizabeth! I'm special guest John St. John, the voice actor, here to talk shit. What? Oh, for talking shit. Talking shit. Talking shit. Sorry. My bad. Hello, I'm special guest John St. John, the voice actor, best known as the voice of Duke Nukem, here for Talking Ship. Are you ready to talk sh I mean, talk ship? Let's talk some ship. Hi, I'm John St. John, and this is a special edition of Talking Ship. Today, we're talking about pirates. Why? Because I'm a pirate. That's why. Shiver me, Timbers! John St. John, you may know him from such great roles as Duke Nukem, Axe and Dota 2, Big the Cat, I don't know, how many hundreds of other roles have you done at this point? A uh, lot, a lot of roles, yeah. So you actually did uh, a little voiceover for us, but you're not in attire today, I don't see what happened. Oh, that's right, I'm the pirate voice, I've, oh, I've forgotten, oh, was I supposed to dress up like a... I mean, I dressed up, I thought everyone else was... Going oh, well, to... my, my parrot Peg has, Peg, throw me me hat! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> all right, all right, I got one. There, that, well, well, is that authentic enough? I, I don't know, maybe like one or two, you got anything else parody over there? Oh, oh, oh. oh a patch. There we go. Okay, do I have the hat right? Yeah, close enough. Close. Okay, <laughs> let me put the patch on. Close enough for horseshoes and hand grenades. Arr. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll try. We'll try and bring it up a little bit so we don't block our face so much. But <laughs> I, I don't make a great pirate after all, yeah. do I? I think that's the front there, there, go, there isn't it? Good now. Do I have it right now? You're, you're good now. I. So you've done, you know, you got to play, uh, you got to play our game. You got to hear the voiceovers in battle today. And so, what was uh -huh. the most intense moment in the battle today when you were playing this morning? I think the most intense moment was when I was trying to target other ships and not paying attention to the ones that were targeting me. Yeah. And the next thing I know, there's a bunch of torpedoes and missiles coming in. And I'm like, oh no! Yeah. Holy crap! So, what did you think of the voiceover that was in the game that uh, that you obviously did? You oh, could hear it. I, 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 you know what? I, when I was recording it in my studio, I was like. How is this gonna work? How is this gonna fit in World of Warships? I'm not, but after playing it, I, I'm I was pretty impressed by it. The commands mm -hmm. are clear and distinct, and and you don't expect to hear a pirate voice, <laughs> yeah. but but you can find my voice in the game pretty yep. easily. The audio uh, tab is over on the left side. Yeah, you select the, the audio tab, and then right as you get in there, you can see on the top left there's a selection for different there it voices: is. national, uh -huh. pirate, whatever you want there. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna want to click on pirate. Click on the pirate and hear me talk like this. Exactly. So, uh, talking about the pirate uh, mm -hmm. voice, how do you do that? I mean, you obviously are a very talented voice actor, but how do you get into the character and specifically how did you get into the pirate? What did you, what what voice did you summon to oh, get the piratey voice? You really want to know? Sure. SpongeBob SquarePants. Really? <laughs> the beginning of the show. Hey kids, are you ready? <laughs> Oh, who lives in a pineapple? Okay, so okay. I, I'm not that guy, but my imitation of him I can hear it. is where it came from. <laughs> so I, I just turned that on and became the pirate. Yeah. So um, I wanted to ask you, though, of course, we got to talk about your, your most famous role, Duke, real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, so can you tell me, like, what, how did you get that job, and what was your sort of first experience going into that, that first gig? I was a production director at a station in San Diego where Lonnie Manella happened to come in. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a casting director and mm -hmm. a fantastic voice artist. Came in to record some auto commercials that I was producing. Mm -hmm. And uh, the two of us started doing crazy voices back and forth. And she said, wow, how would you like to act in video games? And this was 1995. I went, yeah. what? There was no <laughs> such games. thing at the time. <laughs> but they had this game they wanted me to audition for. I think it was called Big Red Racing, something like that. Okay. And so I did a few voices, landed the gig, and, and it just spiraled from there, one game after another. Yeah. So it really started, for me, a natural transition from radio into voice acting. Right, right. And it's obviously, it's the same, similar skill set between exactly. the two, two mediums there. Mm -hmm. um, but what, I mean, was when you did the voice acting for, for Duke, did you think it would be a role that you would come back to, that it would be something that you would just be haunted by for the rest of your life? Or do you oh. think, like, it was just this one-off thing, Yeah, whatever. When, when I recorded it, I had no idea that it was going to be anything at all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And, and I was on the phone with a fellow named George Broussard out of uh, Plano, Texas. I okay. didn't even know who he was and, <laughs> or anything. And, and Randy Pitchford, I didn't know these guys. Right. But they're listening on the phone, and, and uh, the, the, the audition process for that 
that was. I, I think Broussard had uh, Charles Bronson in mind for a voice type. But Lonnie, who directed the session, said, no, think more of Clint Eastwood and uh, Dirty Harry. Okay. okay. And so I, uh, I said, uh, go ahead, make my day. Mm -hmm. And Broussard goes, I like that sound, but Duke is on steroids. He's much bigger. Yeah. So I went, okay, go ahead, make my day. And he goes, that's the voice right <laughs> there. And, th and from that point on, the rest is history. Then it was done. Yeah. <laughs> done and done. But I had no idea that Duke Nukem was anything at all. When I heard the, the name the first time, I laughed. Yeah. I think everybody does. Yeah, <laughs> and it was just another game. Mm -hmm. I had no idea that it was going to turn out to what it was. Awesome. Well, that was uh, really, really great uh, for you to stop by. And thank you for coming again. Oh, it was a pleasure. Thank I had so a much. great time here at Wargaming. Yeah. Uh, thank Thank you for sitting down playing the game with us for coming by doing the interview and of course thank you for doing the awesome voiceover for talking it was Day. my pleasure <laughs> Arr. thank you for watching talk and shift this week and we'll see you all next time yar yar come get <laughs> some your face your ass what's the difference i but wait a minute there's something we forgot to mention a very important anniversary it is the world of warships one year anniversary Awesome job, guys. Thanks again. Congratulations and happy birthday. And to many more years of awesome World of Warships. Aye.